In today's video, Conor McGregor claims he's the highest paid first time actor of all time. The MMA community reacts to Cain Velasquez being granted bail. Israel Adesanya says he's not happy with Coach Behrman's new approach. Adesanya shares his final moments from UFC 281's training camp. And Daniel Cormier previews Alex Pereira vs. Israel Adesanya. Conor McGregor is claiming that he's the highest paid first time actor of all time. In a series of since deleted tweets, the Irishman wrote, I'm the highest paid first time actor of all time. Add that to the rest of all my accolades. Then, doubling down, McGregor also tweeted, I fancy my chances topping this list in record time. If the top gross off Liam's film is 113 mil, as amazing as that is, my roadhouse trebles it. And more, I reckon half a billion in all, and I'd be chilling back with the calculator, rocking alligator. What can I do yous for? Hashtag handy. McGregor also suggested he's interested in buying Liverpool. When asked by a fan whether he'd be interested in buying the Merseyside club, McGregor wrote, I would love it. I requested my information on this, yes, soon as I heard. What a turn of events. What a club. What do you guys think of McGregor's moves? Let us know in the comments below. Finally, some good news for Cain Velasquez. On Tuesday, the former UFC heavyweight champion was granted bail by a Santa Clara County, California judge after a pretrial hearing that extended over two days. Terms of Kane's release included $1 million bail, monitoring, and compliance to an extended set of terms. Velasquez will have to wear a GPS tracker and not come within 300 yards of the alleged victims. The news comes after Velasquez was jailed for more than eight months while he faces a handful of charges, including attempted for allegedly shooting at a car carrying Harry Golarte, a man accused of molesting Kane's four-year-old son. Although there are still several legal hurdles ahead for the 40-year-old Velasquez, many fighters celebrated the victory in court. Daniel Cormier tweeted, let's go. Teammate Darren Wynn said, let's go. They finally freed my boy. I'm so happy for him and his family. AKA coach Javier Mendez wrote, bail set. Finally, a judge that gets it. No real man like Kane would ever flee knowing his family would be left without him. Now, it's time to push forward to get this case over and have him back home for good where he belongs. If you have anything negative to say about this post, please stop following me because I will block you. Let the system work before you make judgment. Not everything is what it seems and let's see what happens as this case unfolds. Hashtag Kane will be free. Michael Bisping says about time, congrats to all his family. Derek Brunson, Cain Velasquez has been granted bail, hashtag free Cain Velasquez, welcome home Cain. Bilal Muhammad, finally. Aljamain Sterling, God is good. Ariel Hawani wrote, for the first time in 8 months, Cain Velasquez will get to sleep in his own bed tonight. The big man is scheduled to go home in the next couple hours, I'm told. Can't imagine what that will feel like for him and his family. Chris Weidman said, thank God, so happy for him and his family. Corey Anderson says, fresh out of practice to hear Cain Velasquez has finally been granted bail. Best news I've heard all day. Hashtag free Cain Velasquez. I stand with Cain. Bailed out. Junior Gano said, thank God. And Ian Heinish wrote, finally, ridiculous how long that took. Israel Adesanya believes coach Eugene Behrman's ruthless talk during UFC 281's fight camp was unnecessary. Coach Eugene was recently a guest on the MMA Hour with Ariel Hawani where he discussed Adesanya's upcoming title defense and the changes that he felt needed to be made at CKB. During the conversation, Behrman stated that the coaching staff needed to draw a line to get the most out of their fighters. Coach Eugene also mentioned that there were times when he wasn't satisfied with what he saw from his group and it forced him to be mean to them to get the best out of them. However, Adesanya later claimed that he didn't need any extra motivation leading up to his sixth title defense and didn't like how Behrman went about it. As he said, I remember the speech, it was quite ruthless. At the time, I was like, what the f***? The work was necessary, but the energy behind it, for me, it wasn't necessary. But I'm still glad it happened because even after the final work, I finally said, thank you for what you did. So I'm grateful for what he did for this camp because I guess we needed it. It's not necessary, 
but it's his way of still ensuring that I am, with all the money and all the success that I have, if I was going to change, I would have changed a long time ago. A long time ago. But I don't because I am who I am, so yeah, it wasn't necessary, but it was needed. Israel Adesanya has shared his final moments from training camp ahead of UFC 281 subtle fight opposite Alex Pereira. While speaking on the most recent episode of the DC and RC show, Daniel Cormier discussed the upcoming title fight between Izzy and Alex Pereira while also sharing a short breakdown of the fight. Here's the clip. So if he's got the power to put the champ out with 12 ounce, imagine what he could do to him with four ounce gloves. Right. But we also know that if you overextend yourself, Israel Adesanya will make you pay. He's one of the most talented counter strikers we have in the UFC. And he said, when I when I land sharp, he yes. said that. He said that multiple times in that clip on the pivot. Yep. When I land sharp, he's got great timing. He hits really hard, but that's all because of his speed and his timing. When it matches up, he can put you out. Mm. We talked prior about guys stalling against yeah. Adesanya, right? That was yeah. the whole build up of Cannoneer. Cannoneer can't do too much. Because mm -hmm. if he does too much, he's going to get knocked out. Yo Romero can't do too much. This guy's going to do a lot. Yes. Because he's been in there with him twice. There is no fear from Alex Pajeda when he looks across and sees Israel Adesanya. That might be a mistake, though, champ. It might be a mistake to go and attack Izzy like that. DC also discussed the differences between fighting in MMA and kickboxing. I, I think like I think that it's, it's a, a great thing to be confident. But you also have to recognize it's a different sport. Yeah. It's not the same sport. Dude, it, the four ounce gloves, Ryan, it's thudding. Mm -hmm. Like, I've sparred with my 12 ounces, with my 16 ounces, and you get hit and you're less aware because it doesn't hurt as it, bad. It spreads out. Yes, but the yeah. moment you get hit with that four ounce glove, you're like, oh, this is real. Right. A, a, a weird might cut you. It, there's just so many differences in fighting inside the octagon. Here are the top three funniest memes we found over the internet. Third place was found over Reddit and was posted by a user named Quechibois. Second place was found over Twitter and was posted by a user named FPressMMA. And our top pick was also found over Twitter and was posted by a user named Clint McLean. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel to keep up with the latest MMA news.